Hello there everybody and welcome back to Tech It Skyblock and today we're going to be building the shooting range or um, there's going to be several shooting ranges but we're going to be building uh, one or two of them today um, oh I fired that you can see the little ball <laughs> oops meant to open the door there um, I'm going to put them away for a minute Jeez. Um, so it's going to be down there and I think the first thing we're going to need to do is, I'm actually out of cobble in that one, is take some cobble down with me and I'm going to be uh, building a a new platform. Um, and then we're going to take some things down with us. So, uh, I'm going to need some wool. And I'm going to need to empty this out of its EMC. Because I need to get all the colours of wool that I think are going to be necessary. Um, so yellow, uh, yellow, light blue, red, and black and white, of course. Um, and then for now we can just ditch all them in there and put all this back in as wonderful EMC. And we'll start by getting the cobblestone out and just building a second platform just beneath the original one. Um, that's essentially going to be on a similar scale to this one. So if I build three blocks out, because that's the width of the path, and then we can start with this this shape again. Now, I can't remember how many out it goes. So it's one more, isn't it? It's like that. Um, and I'm going to have to figure this out so I can explain some things and talk about some stuff while I do this. Um, uh, first of all, I want to apologise if there is any sniffling in this video. Um, I am a hay fever sufferer from the UK and it sucks. How many is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Is that 10? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, okay, it is. That's awesome. Um, yeah, hay fever sucks and it ruins videos, so I'm gonna try my best to edit out uh, all the sniffles that I can. If one slips in, I'm terribly sorry. But I did the best I could. Um, but yeah, at the moment I am terribly addicted to Cube World. Uh, you may have heard a lot about Cube World. It is possibly my new favourite game. Um, it is just, it's the greatest. If anybody, uh, if you don't know what Cube World is, I'll probably put some some footage up, maybe in the corner now, or maybe I'll just put it full screen while I build this. Um, it basically has a lot of really cool things. Um, a lot of people have compared it to Minecraft in the way that it, uh, uses the kind of the blocks and um, you know it it does the voxels a lot better the characters have a lot more details animals and pets and you can ride the animals and you can have like proper boats that look awesome and hang glide places and defeat giant mobs and um, it is just the the coolest thing I've been playing and I've been playing so much it's really hard to pull myself away from it to even make Tech at Skyblock, which is just the best out of all the series that I do. Uh, but yeah, if you um, if you think that is worthy of videos, um, then I am more than happy to make some for you about whatever you want, whether you just want a Let's Play or more tutorial type stuff on it, because I'm getting pretty good at it now. Um, so yeah, let me know. Let me know in that comment section that I know you all love love so greatly. Um, be sure to put first in the comments yet yeah, as well. First is always good. I, I love seeing it uh, first. Um, <laughs> no joke, I actually do because it's a sign that people people like my videos and they they actively want to be first. Uh, I need a ladder down to here and I don't know where to put it. Hmm. I'm thinking maybe we could actually have a nice looking staircase down. 
But for now, for now that's not needed. Okay. So now we have this platform. Let's go up and sort the stuff out with the wool. Because the wool is going to make me some interesting uh, things. It's going to make me some targets and it's going to make me some obstacles. Uh, I'm going to just focus on two layers at the moment. Um, let's get the wool, wool out of here. Now, white wool is going to be the thing that I'm going to use a lot of. So I'm thinking 41, maybe we'll get that up to 50. 50 will do us for now. And then uh, 10 of all the other colours. This is going to be a tedious process of getting wool out. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And black wool, that was the last one. Okay, there we go. Uh, 10 of all the colours. Let's just clear up some inventory room here. Uh, torches that don't want to stack. Interesting. Uh, okay, what else am I going to need? Um, in fact, we'll worry about that in a minute and I'll just get this set up for the time being. Um, so I'm thinking the top layer is going to be the more generic style targets. Let's just throw some torches to uh, get rid of this. As this is quite unsightly at the moment. Uh, right. So, if we have... I don't know how to do this. I'm thinking... You could either do two targets. And one would be your... Kind of bog standard... Uh, looks a bit like that. With red in the middle. Um, but I personally don't think that looks very good. Or you could... Um, I think what my plan is going to be is there's going to be minecarts in the middle and there'll be a deployer or something behind them that can uh, auto redeploy them on a timer. Uh, but I can do that another episode today. I'm really focusing on the building aspect. Um, or you can do um, the kind of thing like they have on the Olympics. So then you have uh, black and then blue, and then red, and then you would have yellow, but instead we're going to have a minecart. Now, and so this would be a fairly big target, I'd have to be on a raised platform, um, or not, I could just shoot it from here, I'd make it further back, but like, I'm, I'm just prototyping the design here, and then the blue goes all the way around, although we don't have enough for that. And then the black follows that going round. And then the white would follow that again. I think that is going to be our best bet, actually, because it does it does look the best out of everything I've trialled so far. Um, so, actually, I'm going to take a piece of each colour of wool. There's a black one, there's a blue one, and I've got a red one. And... Uh, what we are going to do is we are going to make a lot more of them and then we're going to move it actually we're going to get some shears so we can uh, dig them up quickly um, and then we're going to move it back some okay so blue and black yep I don't know if that's going to do us on the black maybe if I just get a couple more okay I think thing that'll do is uh, maybe if I actually get rid of the yellow ones just a couple of them there we go that should do us and then I may need to, uh, shears that's what I forgot I may need to come back and ow and make some more uh, shears yes I even came back and then forgot what I was, came back for okay uh, also, if anyone else is interested, um, it's Tuesday today, hopefully this episode will be same day release. Uh, later today, but not same day released material, I'm going to be recording some uh, out FTL. Because I I still love that game, and I 
doesn't really bother me if you don't watch it. I know. I know someone will. Um. Well, I know someone that's requested it, but I know more people will watch it. Uh, uh, let's get this last piece. Ah, oh, I missed it. Damn it. There we go. Ow. How are my boots doing? Uh, not too well. Damn it. So, how far away do I want this target to be? Imagine if I had a bow. I'm thinking if we make it... Literally just off the back here. So maybe if the white is on this level. White. Um, white, black. And if I put these in order. White, black, blue, red. And then we start by just filling out the red. Until it has its shape. There we go. Oh shit, I did that too high. God damn it. Ow. Sometimes I I question why I do things. Okay, and then we can fill out the blue on the sides. Let's just start by having oh, start by having all the blocks in there place and fill out this side as well and then the sides are going to be easier because we can just build up yeah this would have been a much better way of doing things okay and then fill out the blue Ow. I really need to stop breaking my legs or we'll just have better, um, better jetpack control. I'm actually going to take it off so I can build up easier. Oh god, it's bloody painful. And it only gets higher each time as well. And finally, the white wool. I'm still not very good at this, even without the jetpack on. In fact, I'm going to put it on because I was kind of scared that I nearly fell off there. Ow. Just got to be very, very delicate on the jetpack here. And that one. And then put some torches on the back. Just for a little bit of backlit fun, eh? Right. So there is our target. Looks a little weird because we can't see the white at the bottom, but um, that doesn't bother me. Kind of looks more natural. And then, actually, if we have a yellow piece at the back just for now. I didn't want it actually there, but but hey. And then, um, for now, we can manually put in a minecart. But there will be a... Um, a deployer behind there actually. In fact, let's put a torch in there for now. Uh, I think it'd look better actually on the yellow block. Yeah. Okay, so that is just temporary. Um, and obviously, you know, if you're shooting it from here or on a slightly raised platform here, so say, say there were some stairs and and yeah, you can you can have some nice shots at that. Oh uh, yeah, we may as well leave that there. I'll get the blocks from the underneath side though. Right. Um. Yes. And then underneath, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have like a wall over here with gaps in it. And for now, we can actually just make this out of all the colours of wool. I can make it look groovy. No one should ever use that word. Um, oh, I feel like that is eating up my jetpack fuel. 
And then what you would do is you would shoot through those gaps at a minecart. Ooh. Yeah, and there would be um, minecarts at certain places behind here. So they would not um, necessarily be on this uh, layer of cobblestone or in there. They would be maybe uh, like on this one. And so you'd have to like, instead of looking through it straight, if you were standing over here and you wanted to get the one behind there, you maybe have to veer off to the side and have a smaller window to go through and try and knock it off. Um, yeah, that's the plan for this one. Looks a little weird at the moment. I think it's going to need edges of like fences or something. Um, and then I'm thinking maybe I will have, if I don't have an auto, uh, if I don't have obsidian pipes picking the minecart back up and then uh, deploys putting them back down, I will have a, um, I'll try and set up some teleporters actually to go behind there so you can manually fix it. So I think teleporters are going to look cool on that. Um. Let's just add this little platform behind here. Yeah, I'm thinking, thinking that's going to be good. Uh, I'm thinking this is also going to work with these kind of weapons. Uh, if I just fly back up here, I say there was a minecart there. I believe with this quick reload that, that I should knock off a minecart. Um, in fact, here's an idea. If I go behind here and put down the uh, training dummy, if I put it there and then go back round and then reload this, I would have to look through from the side to hit it. Beautiful. And you know, say it was. You, know, you could have it right over there as well, like in the distance, so you'd have to fill a tiny little gap. And of course I've missed there, because this gun is highly inaccurate. Or or maybe you'd have to you'd have to come out here and you'd have to jump shot it. And uh, yeah, I could make all sorts of interesting challenges with this. Um, I'm hopefully going to do that off camera, and I'll show you the awesome challenge next time, and we can have a little, have a little game. Um, Maybe I'll put that, that world up for download so you can have a game immediately. Um, and that'll be awesome. And you can uh, post me some replies if you're able to record on your PC. So yeah, thank you for watching this episode. Um, if you if you liked or whatever the video, do whatever you want. I don't, I don't want to be that YouTuber that says all that shit. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.